welcome to the first match of the year. I'm so pumped. Nashville SC versus NYCFC. Thanks for everybody tuning in uh, that is joining the stream here. We're first going to check out and let's see if we can see the starting lineup for um, for these two sides here. So here we go. Lineups we have for Nashville, we have Joe Willis, Lovitz, Meyer, Schaffelberg, Moore, Zimmerman, Godoy, Leo Davis, Picault, and Bunbury are starting for Nashville. Um, I'm Sapong? Where, where's Sapong? And Mukhtar is not starting? No, Mukhtar's starting, right? Wow. He is not. So that, uh, that, Sapong and, wow, Sapong and Mukhtar both. Well, Sapong isn't even listed anywhere. Is he injured? Let's see if there's injuries here. Josh T, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. The Johnny Cash jersey looks clean. Thank you. Yes, it, it definitely does. Here, do we have injuries? It's not showing injuries here. Is there any, like, true Nashville fans that... Uh, is Mukhtar hurt also? Is he just not up to up to speed or what so anyway let's look at uh nycfc's lineup you have Pereira, magno pellegrini up top we have hawk tiago parks and Kuf. i i can't even say his name i apologize for that uh shan shanot martins gray in the back there and baraza back in goal there for nycfc so not very many big names that I know for in NYCFC. So the, the game should be starting in about five minutes. We're going to check out this stream uh, on Apple TV. This is our first real game, and I, I hope that it looks good uh, on, on here. I'm not sure. We haven't been here yet. We haven't seen it yet. So uh, it says that it's supposed to be up, but it's not up yet. I guess we still do have a minute left before the stream is supposed to start for them. Ernest, let's go. So excited for this season. I've waited three months for this. That makes two of us. I am super pumped for this. I cannot wait. I'm glad the season is here. And it's just, it's going to be a good year. I think this is going to be a very good year for the MLS. And I hope that the Apple TV does not uh, disappoint us. And that's what I am watching on today. I am watching it on Apple TV just so I can see what that looks like. And here we go. Okay, I have to hit hit watch live three times before it comes up. So, oh no, this doesn't look good. This reminds me of ESPN. This, so the first screen is saying like, match coverage will begin soon. And then it says, like, MLS season pass at the bottom. And, like, a rainbow color is going through the middle of the MLS logo. So that's not that's not a, a good uh, a good start. It, it definitely reminds me of ESPN. Other than it has MLS uh, videos in the background, so different teams it's showing and all that. So that is one thing that is different from this to ESPN's because ESPN just said, ESPN. So Josh T, it's live. Yeah, I, I got it up here. So who are we thinking? Who who does everyone have? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put up a poll. Who are you cheering for today? Nashville or NYCFC? So tell me who you're uh, who you're rooting for today. As you can tell, I am wearing the um, I am wearing the black kit. I, I did get it. So. Pretty excited for it. Uh, it fits good, looks good. So I will be cheering for Nashville today. So I hope that like the different shows that they were talking about, I, I hope that they do have those at the start 
of the other games. I saw that they have the MLS 360. They do have that kind of like advertised. Um, whenever you go into the Apple TV screen for it. So, um, but yeah, let's see. Okay, we got, oh, we got one person voted NYCFC. So, where's my, where's my Nashville people at? Oh, there we go. We got three votes now. I can't. I cannot believe that Mukhtar is not starting today. Is there? I, I need to know if there's an injury. Yeah, let me see if. What do we got here? Health report. Josh T. Very interested to see the quality of the game. Me too. I. Uh, they showed one of the preseason games. I think it was LA Galaxy in Toronto, I believe it was, that they showed. And um, it was uh, it looked pretty clean, other than I, I hope that they changed the, the scoreboard a little bit. The scoreboard was very plain to me. So Sapong is out today. So I don't know why, but I did just, I'm looking at the health report, and that's it. So I wonder why Mukhtar is not... Uh, not starting there. But yes, I'm very interested, and hopefully, um, I don't know who they have commentating the game um, today either. So that'll be that'll be something to check out also. Just checking for some Twitter news here. Is anybody watching the Fox feed? If someone's watching the Fox feed, please let me know how that's going and uh, what it uh, what it looks like compared to like are they doing are they even do they even have a are they doing a pre game show for it or because I did not check it out I will say. I think this is going to be a good game. I, I want Nashville to win, but I got a feeling it's going to be closer than what we think, especially with it being the beginning of the year. Um, it's the first game of the year. Let me see what I predicted. I'm going to bring up the predictions because I think the viewers the other night, they picked um, they picked Nashville to win, and I picked them to win 2-1 to one today. So we're pretty split here too. We got six votes in, and it's 50-50 between Nashville and NYCFC. So tell me in the chat how, how many of you, uh, what do you think the uh, the score is going to be for this match? So I do have 429. So hopefully this comes up. I I really hope that it doesn't do. Hopefully they don't do like what. Is it Fox? Is it Fox that does the thing where they say, oh, it starts at 4.30, but really it doesn't start until like 4.45, almost 5 o'clock, because that's where they do the pregame show? I hate when they do that. Uh, Samuel, hello, mate. How's it going? Uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate the the comment there. What, who are you rooting for, Samuel? Josh, also, who, who are you cheering for? Uh, I'm guessing for the Johnny Cash, you're comment maybe nashville Ernest can't believe honey isn't starting today this changes the dynamics of the game I, I i agree with that i don't know why i did not see anything where like he had he was coming back from an injury or anything in that you know in that nature so oh no are we being misled about kickoff times we are they're doing the same thing. They're doing the same thing as Fox. Are you serious? So the stream just came on for the game, and it says the countdown to kickoff is 24 minutes. This is ridiculous. This is what I'm talking about. They tell you one thing gives you something else. Mike Willis, where's Mutar? I know, man. I don't. I don't know. Sam, I'm good, mate. I love Wayne Rooney, England legend. Just call me Sam, okay? Thanks, Sam. Isaiah, MLS is back. That's right. I'm excited. 
uh, Martin. Sad the LAFC game was postponed, but happy for the start of the season. Been waiting for three months. Yeah, I was very surprised by that at first because I didn't know all of the weather. Like, I didn't know what was going on with the weather out there. So uh, I was surprised. I was like, why is it getting postponed? But I, I understand sucks because it's opening weekend. A lot of hype around that game with it being, you know, El Trafico. So, yeah, but I'm glad MLS is back. Sam, how do I get the games on in England, mate, for your winners for this season? So, Sam, um, if you have Apple TV, if you have, like, an Apple ID or anything, if you just go on your computer, like, appletv.com, or if you download Apple TV on your phone or tablet or anything, you can um, you can watch the games for free today. I know they are free, all of them. So just log in there and check it out. There's actually a tab at the top of their view that says MLS, and you just click on it. Sam, I have a Fire Stick. So do you have the Apple app on there or Apple TV app? Um, Isaiah, my two teams are Rapids and Miami. Okay. Thanks, Isaiah, for sharing. So I'm kind of upset right now. Uh, there is an MLS countdown show on. They're, they're in talking right now. That is what is up and playing. And... I'm kind of upset by that. Uh, you know, you tell me that the game's at 4.30. The game should be on at 4.30. So, not not starting the uh, off on the right foot for me, Apple. So, yeah, Sam, if you download Apple TV, log in with your Apple ID, uh, you should be able to go to the MLS and have these games. Like I said, I know today all the games on Apple TV are free. Uh, I think this game is on Fox if you have Fox Sports. I'm not sure if you do over there in England. I would say you do, but I'm not sure. Isaiah, eating leftover Quidoba from last night or had a crap ton tonight before every MLS season. There you go. There you go. Hey, Quidoba's phenomenal. I haven't had it in a while, though. It's probably been a year. All right, hopefully we get to hear... So they just said in this countdown show that Mukhtar is not fully healthy. Roman, what other sports do you like and what teams do you like? Uh, other sports I like, um, I do like the NFL. I like football. Um, the NFL, I am a Miami Dolphins fan. And then my second team is uh, Nashville, uh, you know, the Titans there. Um, I watch the NBA off and on. I've always been a fan of the Boston Celtics. Um They've, they've been my favorite, especially the Paul Pierce era. I really liked Paul Pierce back back in the day. Um, but, yeah, I, I watch both of those. Um, trying to think of what else I watch other than in those three. Sam, I like the NBA. Who do you like in the NBA, Sam? Isaiah. Chicken tacos, street pulled pork, pulled pork tacos, and pulled pork burritos with queso. Oh, man. Now you're making me hungry. You're making me hungry. Uh, Sam, I've got it. Uh, inmate, what channel is it? I, I don't know exactly what channel. Gotcha. Yeah, I think that it just, if you go, if you're looking at Apple TV, you go over to the MLS, and it should just have the Nashville versus NYCFC. Roman, great choices. Uh, who, who's your favorite? Who's What other teams do you like? What other sports do you like? Awesome, Sam. You got it. Let's go. That's great. So right now, again, I'm kind of upset by this. I don't know if anybody else is tuning in. They're just showing, right now they're just showing the uh, clips from, like, get to know the team, or the, the team, the club profiles from the, from Apple TV. So, like, if you're going to have a countdown show, have a countdown show. And they're not even talking or anything. 
All right, so here we got some more looks into the the field. I cannot wait. I'm going to a Nashville game, so I'm I'm excited. Uh, Sam, what is it called, mate? Again, um, I'm not sure what you mean. Apple TV? Is that what you're talking about? Oh yeah, Apple TV. I don't understand. Okay, so far this countdown show sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Josh T slow rolling the game for Fox. Yeah, man, screw Fox with that stuff. That I hate that Fox does this. And I hate that Apple has decided to do this too. I mean, I'm very annoyed with this. Uh, Roman used to be an Oilers fan for the NFL since I'm from Houston, but now I pull for New Orleans. Stefano, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hey, I like the Oilers uniforms, and I'm sorry. I know that this might this might hurt you a little bit, but I'm excited to see the Titans actually wear it. Yeah, so uh, Sam, every game is on Apple TV. Every game, no blackouts all the time. But after this weekend, like you'll have to pay for it. Uh, it is seventy nine ninety nine USD if you have Apple TV. If you don't have Apple TV, it is ninety nine ninety nine USD. Isaiah, I'm gonna get a new phone at the moment. Not enough storage to update to iOS 16.3. Also got an iPhone 8 Plus. So it's time. Yes, definitely time to get you a new one there. I can't say much though. I just updated mine a couple months ago. I had the iPhone SE and I've updated to the iPhone 14 Pro. Is that the one that just came out? So I definitely like my, my iPhone there. So we got 18 votes. We, we, we're still at 50%. Nashville, SC, and NYCFC. 50%, so I like that. Uh, Josh, Fox annoyed me last week with NASCAR, so it's definitely annoying. Yeah, I am I was really happy you know, to them, for them to get away from Fox. Uh, I don't really like Fox's broadcasts. Um, and just this, this really hits me in the nerves. I, I hate that. Um, I'm hoping that maybe it's just for this game because it is on Fox and hopefully the other games actually start when they said that they were going to start because it's kind of BS, you know. I mean, we still have another 15 minutes before the game starts. Kote, hey Dion, what's up? Mutar is on the bench. Yes, um, from the, the countdown show here, they said that uh, they are saying that he is recovering from an injury and I, I didn't know that he had one. Sam, I've got the app installed, so I don't know. I have to pay. So I don't, I have to pay. You have to pay right off the bat? I didn't think you did. Ernest, do you think Connie can repeat as the MVP? Yeah, I think if I think if he stays healthy, uh, I think if he stays healthy, he can repeat. It'd be really cool to see someone repeat, because I, I don't believe, I could be wrong, um, but I, I don't think anyone has repeated. So I think that he could and I wouldn't mind it. Butch, yeah, this is an amateur hour so far on Apple. Yes, I 100% agree. So, yeah, it uh, just came up game another 15 minutes. So, we're looking at kickoff at 4.55 whenever you Apple, you advertise the game to be starting at 4.30. Uh, this is a big L on their part, I think. Kote, I, ha I think I have to go with NYCFC now. Just because he's on the bench... Uh, I, he'll be in. I guarantee you he will at least get 30 minutes in, in, I would say. Unless his injury is bigger than what I think it is. But he'll get some time. What time is it over there? Uh, right now it is 4.41 p.m. Uh, my time. This is Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Roman, yeah, it doesn't bother me. I just can't be a fan uh, of that mess in Houston today. 
when it comes to MLS. I like to watch Houston Dynamo, so I'm excited for tonight. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that that doesn't, uh, uh, you know, irk you in any way. That uh, I like, I'd like to see the Titans wear the old Oiler for, uniforms. Uh, yeah, I would not. You couldn't pay me to be a Houston Texans fan. Isaiah, no one has repeated as in back-to-back, but they have won it twice. Uh, Freaky in 97 and 03. Okay, so thank you, Isaiah. I, I, I like that. Thank you for... Uh, I appreciate that. Cote, I've got to just... you just got a feeling about NYC. Sam, it's 21-41 there. Yeah, so there's, there's a bit, bit of a difference. Magno is going to fire today. Hey, I'm excited to see him. I'm excited to see what he can do for NYCFC this year. Butch, and we have commercial breaks. What are we paying the extra 13 bucks a month for? I I agree. I mean, I understand it's a, a countdown show, and I understand that like it, it's hard to like talk through that whole thing. But I mean, yeah, four people on the countdown show here. I don't know if they're showing the um, the same countdown on Fox. If they have the same people, I have Sasha Klesch. I can't. I always mess his name up. Sasha Kletchlin. I think that's how. I, I, I'm terrible with names, and I don't know the other people. I don't think. And like they're not even putting their names up when they're talking. So like we, they said their names at the beginning of the show, but like you still gotta put them up. I feel like. No, 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 guys. Which game is gonna have goals? Both team to score over two point five. Um, I don't know. I I think that there might be over 2.5, but do not take my word for it. I am not a gambler. I just enjoy the game, like predicting and, and chatting about the game. So, but I could see it being my predictions two to one uh, Nashville in this game. I cannot wait for the Atlanta game. Super pumped for it. I will be watching it later today. Um, tonight, but man, this is, this is making me mad. I'm ready to watch the game. Ricardo, what's up? Yes, this pregame show is pretty bad. Um, all of them look very nervous, all four of them. Um, I, I haven't really got to listen to it too much, but yeah, they look awkward. Like they were talking about the jersey, holding the jersey up. And like they're like passing it around, uh, maybe it's just nerves because it's the first, you know, it's the beginning of the season. This is their first time. I'm gonna say that probably some of them, it's their first time being on camera like this, maybe because I don't, I don't know any of them as like announcers or not really announcers. What is it, analysts like that? So, so Josh Chi, you're saying three to two Nashville. Sam saying two nothing NYC. So our poll is still going strong. We have Nashville. We got 61% people rooting for Nashville. The other 39 rooting for NYCFC. Uh, Stefano, because Mukhtar is on the bench. Yeah, I don't know. I Sam, yeah. Is that why you're going to NYC? Uh, Isaiah, got to say the Minnesota kit is top five or six for sure. Colorado is the best one in my opinion. Um, I actually think it, the top two, in my opinion, are Chicago and Minnesota. I like both of those jerseys a lot. Let's see what uh, Twitter's saying here. Hey, United States of Soccer. Hey, if you guys like uh, Premier League also, uh, along with the MLS, definitely go and check out uh, United States of Soccer's podcast or on Twitter. Um, they Pretty cool guys. I was on their uh, their podcast, I think it was on Tuesday. This, this last week has flown by. So I think it was Tuesday night. 
uh, and the the episode dropped on Thursday. So if you can go check out their podcast if you like the Premier League and the MLS. I will probably be on there throughout the year, throughout the season, if, if they invite me back. So I think we got we got about ten minutes still. So what, what's some other people's favorite uh, kits this season? So Isaiah says that Minnesota's the top five or six. So other than Colorado being your best, uh, who, who do you think has the second best? So they're playing Leo in the middle. They're showing Nashville's playing a 4-3-3. Um... Ernesto, yes. Mukhtar supposedly is injured, but he is on the bench. So I I say that we will probably see him play at some point. <laughs> Butch and the non-countdown show is over. Yeah, they are talking about the, the lineups now. Magno's playing up top. Isaiah, Austin or Portland has number two. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Butch, separate play-by-play -play on Fox and Apple. Okay. Well, hopefully the Apple one's better than Fox. Who's doing Fox? Are you watching Fox, Butch? Charlotte and Salt Lake. Charlotte's purple jerseys are sick. All right, so we got the players coming out to getting ready to come out to the field. Hey, I'm not going to lie. The the refs uniforms are straight pink. I'm loving it. Pink socks, pink shirts with black shorts. I actually do like it. Cote about to kick off. Let's go. Magno getting on the score sheet today. You think so? Who do we think is going to score first? Do we think Nashville is going to score first or NYCFC? All right, so right now they're showing different clips of the field. Players are walking out, but there's no commentating right now. Isaiah, Miami is four, and NYCFC is five. Uh, team refs, that's right. Um, Isaiah, you, you like the NYCFC uh, kit. I did not like it. It looked like it was beza uh, bedazzled. To me, I, I really like the concept though, what they were looking for with having like the logo printed all the way throughout. I like that, but yeah, I don't know if I, if I could, uh, get down with buying it. It, it the bedazzled look gets me. No, no, Nashville versus New York, New York over 0.5 goal. I don't know. Like you can have someone else answer that. No, no. Cote, NYCFC. To score first from a good counter. Okay. Then you got Ernesto. I'm not sure how I feel about this Apple TV stream. Philly's away kit for me it has to be the best. Hey, Ernest, that kit is sick too. It's nice. Okay. Anton walks. They're uh, doing a remembrance for him. Um, Butch Stadium pregame on Apple, but from a wide camera angle. Now, right now, it's like showing the players. It just did, just did a uh, Antoine walks remembrance moment of silence. Cam, what's up? Not a fan of either team, but I put money on NYC just to make it interesting for the first MLS game of the year. Uh, yeah, I think I think Nashville's going to do it. I mean, they're in Nashville. I think I think we're going to see a lot of home teams win today. And if not, home team's winning, we're going to see draws. I'd say uh, Philly would be a top five if the dumb Thomas logo wasn't on it. Yeah, dude, sponsor logos I hate. Like, jerseys could be so much better if they didn't have it. 
it gives a practice kit. The fireworks just scared one of the NYCFC players on the field during the national anthem. Hawk oh, looking like Jesus. I, I did not see that, Cote. Uh, BML, how can I listen to the game via sh internet? Uh, if you if you have an Apple ID, I would say probably the easiest way is go to appletv.com and go that way because uh, it, the games are free today. Cam, do you think Atlanta FC, uh, Atlanta United, uh, will have a better record this year? Yeah, I think that they will do better this year. I think that, I feel like there were, don't get me wrong, I love Joseph Martinez. He's my favorite player. Uh, has been since he came into the league. Um, I think that there was a lot of drama there, even when he was injured and stuff. I think there was just a lot of drama there, and I think now that some of the people are gone that were causing a lot of issues, I think that Almada and Arujo, I think that they're going to be good this year, and I think that Atlanta will do better. Hey, fellas, how are your thoughts on the starting 11 of NYCFC? Keep it up. Got the subs to watch this opening game. Hey, th thanks for stopping in. I appreciate that. Um, I'm, I'm surprised. Has, didn't Magno, if there is any NYC fans in here, didn't Magno play out wide last year? And I, I think that that was... Uh, um, didn't he play out wide last year for NYCFC instead of playing centrally? Isaiah, what's worse, Arby's or BK? Ooh, I would have to say Arby's. All right, so I'm very upset with, with how this has started. This is not what... Um, not what I not what I thought we were going to get for the the opening game. Uh, I think that the countdown the countdown was crappy. From you know I, I have it in my ear, could barely hear what they were saying. It was awkward. More, I felt like there was more commercials than anything. <laughs> Isaiah, the key for Atlanta is the players know when to pass the ball. They're good players, but oftentimes they didn't play. No, they did not play well as a unit. They were very selfish. Cam, I had high hopes for DC United when Rooney came on, but hopefully they will start putting things together. I kind of hope so too. Um, I think that he's got a couple players in of his own now, so I think that this season will be better for them than last year, but I don't think that they're going to make the playoffs. Oh, we got our riff going on here. It's pretty cool that they're showing that. I will say that it's cool that they're showing that. I'm glad that they are showing that because that's something you didn't see last year. So that's cool. Um, sorry. Thoughts on... Yeah, I think that side link up micro is going to be good for Toronto. So the game just kicked off. Um, unfortunately, they did not change the... Scoreboard like I thought that they would, and like I was saying, um, on the Apple TV, uh, it's not that great to me. I think that they should have used logos instead of just the initials of the teams. Uh, 
Um, Sam, I hope to do well, mate. As an Englishman, I love Rooney. England legend, my favorite all time. Hey, man, Rooney was phenomenal. I, I like watching Rooney, too. I was thinking the game is starting, but seriously, that long? Yeah, I mean, they they advertised for the game to start at 4.30. It started at 4.55 uh, Eastern time. Fun fact, it's Johnny Cash's birthday tomorrow, as is my birthday. Awesome. Ernest, which team do you support in the Premier League? Um, I actually had that question on the, the podcast with uh, United States of Soccer, and I really don't have a really a favorite. I like a lot of different teams and players because, you know, obviously being from the U.S., I root for Leeds because I want the, the American boys on there to do good. But I think if I had to pick a favorite, this might get some people. It, it has to be Liverpool. Um, I like Klopp. I like Firmino. So I would say that it's uh, it's Liverpool. So Nashville is definitely pushing right now, keeping possession, getting getting into the they got into the six yard box, cross in, no good. Um, let me see here. Who do you got in the Toronto versus DC game today? Uh, I think Toronto is going to win that game. I'm watching on Fox and the scoreboard looks familiar. Yeah, see, uh, on Apple TV, it looks a little, it's very basic to me. I think that they should have done a little bit better. Wow, Magno was all the way back in the six-yard box for that. Hey, Josh T. and Kote have the same birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, fellas. Isaiah, the new template for Adidas looks sleek on field. Where did where is that? I did not see that. Um, Cam, yes, I'm a Manchester United fan and loved Rooney in his good days. Yeah, see, like I can get down with Man U too. Like I like uh, Bruno. Bruno's good. I've always liked David De Gea. He's he's been my favorite goalie for years now. Yuri for Golden Boot. Uh, he could, possibly. And thanks for stopping in, Paula. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know. I don't know who's going to win Golden Boot this year. I think I think Vasquez is going to be back up there. I don't know if Ferrer will be back up there, though. Good luck in the second league against Madrid. I'm trying to get into MLS. Anything I should look out for? Uh, the new playoff format sucks in my opinion. But other than that, no. I don't think there's anything to look out for. What do you guys think? And thanks for stopping in, Rice. Uh, Sam, buzzing for DC United game. It's on tomorrow. I think, not sure. Can you check for me? No, I think it's today. I think that... I think they play today. Yeah, DC United and Toronto play at 7 p.m. Eastern time tonight. Angus, what's up? Uh, thanks for stopping in. EPL team is uh, all the Wolves. Okay. I went to a couple of matches of theirs in 2019. That's awesome. I would love to go to Europe to see a Premier League game. Magno is looking great, and I admit, as number nine is perfect. Ever seen... Ever seen... Struggle with him last year. Yeah, he, he, he looks all right so far. But Nashville, I feel like Nashville is dominating a good bit right now. Ah, uh, it's a bad pass. Uh, Magno is looking great. Okay, I already looked at that one. I'm sorry. How do the wild card games play out? So the 8-9 team from the East, the 8-9 team from the West both play each other, and that's the playing game. Whoever wins moves on. I'm either going to like New York, New York City, Charlotte, or Miami. Um... <laughs> Rice, if I were you, I'd go with Charlotte out of the... That's just my opinion. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Inter-Miami and don't really care for the New York teams. If I had to choose between the two New York teams, I would choose NYCFC. Yeah, save Crystal. Yeah, I'm digging the crowd chant. Yeah, they're wonderful, man. It's so awesome, and I cannot wait until I get to go to a Nashville game. 
Just a trash playoff format. Yeah, I agree. Here we go. Leo. Go, go. Pull it, pull it. Oh! Nashville just had a shot on goal. He should have made that, man. That was a good save by Barraza. Sorry. Um, 12.30 midnight in England, mate. Yeah, that, that will suck that it's that late. That's the only thing that I disagreed with, that all the games started too late um, for trying to, you know, reach out for the fans in other countries. But at the same time, especially in the summertime, at, at kickoffs at noon, um, Eastern Standard Time, it'd just be too hot. Cam De Gea has been great. I wasn't sure if they would be able to find a keeper as good as uh, Vandersaw. I'm glad Rashford has been doing great since CR7 left. Dude, Rashford is on another level. This might, I, I don't know, you might agree with me, but other people won't. I think Rashford's one of the best players right now. Just how in form he is uh, for United. Isaiah Mango and Andrade. Better score because I want to say. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I guess I don't know too much about NYCFC. Rice, how's the new playoffs work? So what happens is the so nine teams from both both Eastern Conference and Western Conference make the playoffs. But what happens is the eighth and ninth. Hold on. Oh, that was a good cross. Barraza is coming up with some big saves for NYCFC. Uh, but back to the playoffs. Um, so what happens is the eighth and ninth place team play against each other, and whoever wins um, moves on. And then what happens is the next round is a best of three series. And what happens is the highest seed. So, like, for instance, one will play eight or nine, whichever team wins. And they'll play at the number one seed's home first. Then they'll go to the lower seed's team home stadium and play the second game. If a third game is needed, it will go back to the higher seed. And then whoever wins moves on. And then after that first round of everyone um, it goes to a single elimination. Uh, Paula, will Burrell play a role in Cincinnati's attack? I, I'm not sure if he will or not. Ivan, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. Nashville's kit looks clean. Yes, it does. I had to order it. I had to. I had to. Oh. Thanks, Isaiah. I did not know that. Um, Angus, a July match in St. Louis is the midday heat would be brutal. Yeah, that, that's the only bad thing um, about, about that is uh, the heat in a lot of places. So that's the only bad thing about me wanting earlier games so internationally people can watch it, but... Right, so the playoffs are just kind of like baseball or basketball playoffs, just soccer. Uh, I I really can't speak to baseball, and really for the NBA, I haven't watched NBA's playoffs in a while. But yeah, like the NBA it used to be, I think the best of seven series, but that's all the way through the playoffs. Where this for the MLS, it's just that first round after the play-in is a best of three, and then after that, it's single elimination. This is the same format ever since 2020. Well, I, there's 18 teams now instead of, I think it was, what, 14 or 12 last year? Ernest, I still don't know why they didn't bring back the two-legged tie. It was fun. Now we are just stuck with the trash format. Yeah, I think that, I think 18 teams in, a play, in the playoff, that's 60-some percent of the, the teams in the league. I think it's crap. Uh, I think that, the regular season isn't going to be as good now because of that. And um, I think that it should be lesser teams and they should do a format like the Champions League, a home and away, and whoever wins on aggregate moves on. That's just my opinion. Connor, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you being here. All right, we're going to end this poll. We have 40 votes, 60% of you going for Nashville, 40 NYCFC.
So yeah, it's still dominated by uh, Nashville here. Let's look at. Yeah, well, ball possession's saying that it's NYCFC, but I feel like uh, Nashville has had the most opportunities so far. Why is that not loading? I'm sorry that the uh, thing is not loaded. It's supposed to have the time, and it is not working the way it should. Nashville. If someone for Nashville could get in the box, man, they're, they're having some nice crosses in. See if that changes it. Oh, man, another almost goal for Nashville. Not sure why that will not work. Rice, I'm probably going to go with Charlotte because I live in South Carolina, so it's close to home, but I'm going to head out. Thanks for... Then for, hey, Rice, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Stop back anytime. Check out the channel. We'll see you later. Uh, Micro, in my opinion, TFC should have kept Schaffelberg to midfield since Insigne plays his position because he's playing mid for Nashville and is doing really good. Yeah, they should have. But I, I think Toronto is going to do better than what we think. Oh, They're definitely going to do better than what they did last year. Uh, Connor, notice that the Apple and national TV broadcasts are both completely different with presentation and announcement. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's going to be a difference. I know that they made an agreement to have games, so many games on Fox. Try to refresh the website here for the scoreboard. It should work. I, I did. I tried like three different times. Um, I'm going to try it again here, though, and see if, if we can get something. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, brother, I really don't know how long it takes. Rodriguez is coming to NYCFC. A uh, possibility. But the calendar of... Went to Diva City. Okay. It's still a question mark. See, I haven't heard anything. Uh, I have not heard anything about Rodriguez coming to NYCFC. Oh, he wasn't. I don't think he was offside. I think the right back left him on. Uh, Ivan, who do you think wins the Champions League? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think Real Madrid could repeat, possibly. Toronto might regret trading Pizzo to us to get K. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure, though. Uh, Mad Hater, what's up? Welcome to the stream. No, supposedly there are no blackouts with Apple TV. Uh, you're supposed to be able to watch any game that is on there, and you should be able to watch every game. 
That's what they're saying. So we'll see. Oh, okay. Oh. Yep. Uh, Connor, the MLS website is usually up to date. Foot Mob is usually always behind. Yeah, they're they're usually behind a good sometimes, but that's what I have up. I'm gonna use it for today. Maybe for next week's game, uh, we might use a different one there. Uh, Micro, I don't know what's up with K. He is underperforming so bad. Hopefully, he redeems himself this season. I think he will. He'll he'll step up. I I think he'll he'll do well. Uh, Connor, who's your club? Oh, nice ball. Another another cross. Good defense by NYCFC. Schaffelberg through the middle there. Uh, who's my club? Uh, my first club is definitely Atlanta United. And then I also like Nashville. But if I have to pick, like if they were facing each other, I would have to, I would have to cheer for Atlanta. Isaiah, this is a good first game. Yeah, so far, so good. Oh, it is a done deal. I'm sorry, uh, brother. I didn't know that it was. I did not see that. I apologize. It's just uncertain. It says on Twitter. Okay. Oh. Why did he not go for that? Good boy. You got to go for that, man. So, actually, Connor... Foot mob. So the stream on Apple TV must be lagging behind because Foot Mob says it's seven like in the eighteenth minute where on my stream for Apple TV is at seventeen forty five. Mike, Nashville knocking on the door. This Shuffleberg kid is awesome. Yeah, Nashville is knocking on the door and I'm I'm kinda surprised by him. I'm glad that uh, Nashville picked him up. He's looking good. That that mullet, man. I know that they made a couple videos about that on their on their Twitter for his mullet, but he is. He's looking good. Oh. So in my, on, on my stream, uh, Magno has it out wide. He's cutting to the middle. And he just took a shot from distance and it almost went in. Whew, just a little high. Wow. Um... Yeah, TFC really fumbled giving him away, yeah. Connor, really like the Johnny Cash kit. They're a close second to Seattle's Bruce Lee kit. Yeah, I, I like the Bruce Lee kit, but I think it's a little too busy. Yeah, Isaiah Magno almost scored. That was a beautiful shot. Daniel, what's up? Thanks for uh, stopping in. Cincinnati, you're Houston for tonight? I, I'll ha I have to go with Cincinnati, man. I'm sorry. Should try sofa score because foot mob is different. Hmm. I know I, I've always used foot mob. They they've done pretty well for me the last couple seasons. So whenever I look at their stuff and the information, so I kind of like them. But I, I might try MLS's website for the next stream. Agnes, there's some lag with Apple TV. It is better than last weekend though. That's good, and I'm fine with lag. I, I don't really care about that too much. Uh oh. Come on, you got a Zimmerman and I don't know who the other defender was. They just ran into each other. They got to talk back there. Agnes, hey, hey, brother. How are you? Oh, I think you're talking to brother in the, the chat there. Yeah, Butch, no lag. Yeah, it's not lagging. I'm, I was, I guess I should have rephrased that. It's not lagging. It's just behind. It's about 30 seconds behind the Apple TV on my on my end. So Isaiah Nashville kid is still bottom half for you, but maybe maybe not the worst anymore. See, I like it. It's nice. It's very slick and clean.
All right, they should have shown different fans on that one. We'll see that. They got a they they. That was not a good camera angle. It was the corner of one of the sections. Not very many fans. Uh, Mad Hater. I'm new to MLS. Going to watch this season after being a Premier League snob for so long. Hey, that's awesome. You got to start somewhere, Mad uh, Mad Hatter. It it's a pretty good league. I like it. Uh, it's one of my favorites to watch. Nashville's got a corner here. I say I hate the Raiders, so maybe that plays a part into it being in the bottom half. It's understandable. Josh, jerseys are very expensive. Yes. Um, I bought this this jersey and Atlanta's New Jersey. And, yeah, I, I bought the cheaper ones uh, because I was not paying $150 a pop for the authentic. I think that's what they're called, the authentic ones. Here we go. Here, corners coming in for Nashville. Hmm. Well, yep. Yeah, well defended by Nashville. Holy crap, Ivan! Nashville three, NYCFC four. You think that's what the score is going to be? And welcome to the stream. So so far, this game's back and forth. It started to go back and forth, but Nashville has definitely gotten more looks uh, than than NYCFC. Isaiah, I'ma buy the Raptors jersey as their season kicks off at their season kickoff party so I can get free customization. That's awesome. Do you get your like your your own name on the back of it or are you want to get a player's name? Mad Hatter, uh, I would love to get the old school Metro Stars jersey. Yeah, absolutely. That would be that would be pretty sick. I, I'm not gonna lie. I I collect jerseys. I probably have about sixty different jerseys between uh, multiple leagues, not just MLS. Um, I was a huge Celtic fan from Scottish Premier League. Uh, that's where I started liking club soccer back in 2011, and I have a bunch of their jerseys. Got a bunch of Atlanta. Got USA jerseys. So. Got a couple different MLS teams. I can't remember what years I have of. But I have like an Inner Miami. I have a Cincinnati. A couple Nashville jerseys. Then some international. I, I just picked up um, a couple like right at the end of. Um, the World Cup, I picked up a Kane England jersey, so that was pretty cool. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, dude, Nashville 3, NYCFC 4, plenty of, plenty of ahead time for both to start coming, to start scoring. Starting now, let's go NYCFC. That's that's a high scoring game. I don't know. I mean, it could if it opens up. I think if if one team scores, it could open up. Isaiah, player name. They also have special edition numbers with our stadium's pride mural and the numbers. That's pretty cool. What what player you want to get, Isaiah? All right, free kick for Nashville. Where is everybody at? No one's in the box for Nashville. There's like t 10 of the NYCFC players in the box to defend and only two Nashville players. Oh, that's a foul. Yeah. Come on, Walker. That was a terrible, that was a terrible tackle. Uh, Josh, is this the only game you're streaming? Uh, yeah, this is the only one I'm going to watch along for today. I plan on doing a watch along every week, and so I'm actually going to be putting out on the community tab, probably either Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to put either three or four games to choose from, and whatever you guys vote, that's the game we're going to watch next weekend. Yeah. So yeah, their NYCFC's possession is not too bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're not. Nashville needs to get some people in the box. I think that their attack and their crosses look good, but just no one, no one's getting in the box. I want to know if Mukhtar is going to come on either at halftime or with about 30 minutes left. And I wonder what kind of, what he'll bring. Bassett, Price, or Rubio. There you go. Rubio would be a cool one. How good is he going to do for you guys this year? Yeah, Nashville is definitely like I feel like they've dominated most of, most of this game. I mean, I know that the possession the possession's still about 50-50, but they've had a lot more of the looks. Like here, I'm going to see Yeah, NYCFC only has one shot and it wasn't even on target. It was it was Magno's shot. Yeah, Rubio. I, I kind of, I kind of think Rubio too. Uh, Ivan. So far, a lot of set plays like corners for Nashville. Well, they are playing in their home field. Just hope NYCFC can defend well. I mean, right now NYCFC is doing a, a good job. I mean, but at the same time, Nashville is getting some good crosses. Even the last uh, free kick for them, it was put in a good spot. Ooh, that's a yellow. Getting our first card of the the game here. Straight tripped him. Uh, who is that getting the card? I don't know who. Uh, NYCFC just got their first yellow card. Was that Martins? <laughs> the crowd, you can't do that. <laughs> who was that? I don't know. Oh. Forty nine possession lost by Nashville. And here yeah, they're right well foot mob just updated theirs. It's saying that the possession's fifty four percent Nashville, forty six NYCFC. So here's another free kick for Nashville. I'd like to see Godoy do good this year for Nashville. He I, I hope he plays he stands up. And they just caught a foul on Godoy as I'm talking about him. Uh, again, no one getting in the box for Nashville, and that was just that was just a stupid play by Godoy. He just stood in front of him. I don't know if that should have been a foul. His teammate should have told him that he was there, but So how are we feeling? We we think Nashville's going to win this game, or do we think that NYCFC is going to get a chance? And oh, that's not a foul. Oh, Pereira. Hmm. Kufri. Oh, and there's the for another shot for NYCFC. So, there was another good look for NYCFC. Josh, visually looks way better than ESPN. I agree. I, I think that with having multiple cameras, um, different looks, I think I agree with you. And, like, it just looks cleaner, in my opinion, also. So... Oh! Nashville almost scored. Bunbury. Isaiah, something's different about this MLS season. First time it starts and I'm not single this time. <laughs> Mad Hatter. Nashville won nothing. Okay.
All right, we got another corner for Nashville. There we go. Oh. Uh, counter for NYCFC. Shadowberg just got hit in the face. But they're not, they didn't call anything. It's my first girlfriend and we've been going strong for five months. Well, congratulations on that, Isaiah. It's awesome. Ivan. I mean, you get a fan. And well, I see it like this. NYCFC, the, the team I'm going for... We'll get a point like in Yu-Gi-Oh! When you do damage to the opponent's life points. <laughs> Just wish NYCFC don't lose this match. Yeah, I think that it, I want Nashville to win. But I think if Nashville doesn't win, it will be a draw. I don't see NYCFC winning. Well, mine tells me it's going to be the NYCFC in the second half because this game is struggled by Nashville find the goal yeah I think Nashville should have scored by now with how how many opportunities they've had and good crosses in they someone should have got on the end of it and I think if Sapong wasn't injured I think that he would have got on the end of one <laughs> Sam you don't need girls in your life just yourself and if you don't get a girlfriend then you can spend your money on what you want in my opinion yeah, there's that too, Sam. That was a good ball. Oh, Schaffelberg, a little bit hard on the touch there. All right, Schaffelberg, way to win it back. I was going to say, you got to give that to him. Sh straight pulled Bunbury. So a little bit back and forth so far, which is good. Schaffelberg is put on a show. I don't know what you all think. I think he's doing really well. So got another set piece for Nashville. Love it and um, Leo are over the ball. Michael, Sam with the knowledge and wisdom of a million men. Amen, brother. <laughs> all right, Leo puts it in the box. Oh. Zimmerman, good boy! Let's go. Zimmerman hits it, deflected. Godoy gets it, puts it in the back of the net. Let's go. As my voice squeaked. So Nashville go up 1-0. Let's go. Uh, where are we? Sam, when I move out of my house, mate, I'm only 18. I'm getting a Husky, white, and black. There you go, Sam. I, I like Huskies. I actually have, um, I don't have a Husky, but I have a black, uh, like pit, uh, not a black, a brown pit mix. I love him to death. His name's Dom. Hey, oh, here it comes. Micro, dub, 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 Nashville goal. Butch goal, yep. Zimmerman knocked it down. Hey, I will say New York's goalie is playing very well. I mean, he got a hand on it. No one, no one guards Godoy, and Godoy puts it in the back of the net. TiVo, Apple TV broadcast is quality. I like it so far. It, it's been, it's been, it's been good. NYCFC is giving me flashbacks of um, Alays United, lifeless on attack. Yeah, no, no attacking by NYCFC right now. Like. Like liking the intensity, one nothing national. Yep. Isaiah, I want my dog alive for twenty twenty six so he can see a home World Cup. Yeah. Hey, I cannot wait for the World Cup to be here um, for twenty twenty six. I'm excited. Uh, I have already started putting money away. I'm going. I am going to multiple games for the World Cup in twenty twenty six. He'll be 12 in 2026. Wow. Hopefully, he should still be alive, right? What kind of dog is it, Isaiah? I'm pumped. Nashville up 1-0. Let's go. 
Godoy with the yeah, no one marked Godoy. No one was on him. Like I said, I think I think NYCFC's goalkeeper is playing very well, and it just he got a hand on Zimmerman's. He's like, like I think most goalies Zimmerman would have scored there, but that was a good reaction by him. But no one there to guard Godoy to clear it. Um, Tivo, you seen Love It? Love It's blacked out Adidas Predator boots? No. I did not see that. What 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 is he is he protesting them? Isaiah Zapogel. Uh oh, another Nashville goal? Okay. Got another corner for Nashville. Nashville's just continuing to press. Put pressure on. So I like it. I like it. Pug and Beagle. Hey, that's probably a pretty cute dog. Sam, are you streaming the DC United game? No, I'll probably have it up on one of my TVs, um, but I will definitely be watching. Oh, Bunbury, if he could have controlled that. Um, I'll probably have, like, I'll probably have, there's supposed to be a wraparound show or. I can't remember. I think it's MLS 360 is what it's called. That's supposed to be on tonight. And it's supposed to like watch all the goals. I'll probably have that on plus the Atlanta United game. So here's NYCFC is getting their first uh, corner kick of the game. So 38 minutes in and they're just getting their first one. Tivo, no, the boots just look awesome. I appreciate the high definition broadcast. I'll have to keep an eye out for them. If they're all blacked out, I bet you those are pretty nice. I bet you they're going to look for Magno here. Um, Mad Hatter, are the black jerseys Nashville is wearing? going to be their home going forward. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to wear these for all the home games or if it, this was just like a special game. Like the, it's like a secondary kit, I believe. So I think that they will have their, I think they wore their yellow ones at home last year. I could be wrong, but I, I don't, I don't think that they will wear the black ones every, every home game. I could be wrong though. I say my girlfriend can't stop screenshotting my Snapchats whenever my dog's in them. <laughs> Sam, I'll be going to bed at 2 a.m. I'm staying to watch it, committing to watch Rooney manage. Hey, I, I, I hope that Rooney does better um, as DC's uh, manager than what he did over what team. I can't remember what team he managed over in Europe for a little while. Tivo, the Nashville Johnny Cash kit, they they are sick. I like them. They they're very nice. Yes, Darby County. Yes, I knew that. I should have known that. Should have remembered that. Not known that, but yes, Darby County, black and white. The fans are now booing. I think that's Martins for for NYCFC back there. Or Shanot. That's great. Kufre, Magno. Ah, uh, good D. Man, they're they're definitely sticking to Magno though. They're trying not to let him get anything. Ooh. Good shot there by NYCFC. I'm trying to go to the Loons Stadium. Who's Loons Stadium this summer when I visit my girlfriend? Might cop a jersey there. Okay. Hey, I like jerseys, man. I, I really do. Sam, yeah, mate. Full of love. Rooney Hope, he does well. 
who will go down in history as one of the best England England's best players. Yeah, I agree with that. So shots on target, three Nashville, NC, NYC uh, only has one on target. Yes, Castellanos is definitely missed for NYCFC. I don't know if Stefano's still in the, the chat. Man, me and him were both devastated when uh, when NYCFC were letting him go um, to Spain. I know that that's what he wanted, and they were just giving him what he wants, but that kind of sucks, man. He, he, he did so good last year. Oh, Minnesota United. Gotcha. Never heard him called loons. Sorry. All right, so NYCFC's got a little build up here going. <laughs> I love it. The fans boo it every time he gets it. Let's go. I'll get there. Oh, that that had to hurt. Got him right on the knee. Uh, Sam, who are your dark horses for this season? Uh, to to be honest, I think Toronto. I think Toronto is going to have a good season. So I, I would say, I guess, I mean, they're kind of a dark horse because they didn't have a really good season last year. But I, I think that they'll. Oh wow, <laughs> the uh, the fans are saying "ref, you suck." That's what they're chanting right now. Um, but yeah, I think the dark horse. I think Toronto. We gotta, we gotta, we, we we'll have to watch them. I don't know who else. As a dark horse, you can't really say Seattle or Portland are, but I can. They're definitely going to have better seasons this year than what they did last year. I hope his knee's okay. I'm so happy Toronto got Sean Johnson. Yeah, me too. I think that I think his leadership um, back there and how good of a goalkeeper he is is going to really help Toronto. The fan intensity is great. Yes, TiVo. Hopefully, I think his knee's okay. I think he'll be all right to go. Hopefully, just tweaked it a little bit. Sam, personally, mate, I don't know if you agree. I think the MLS is great because, in my opinion, there is uh, more standout teams. Like, yeah, I, the MLS is my favorite league. I, I hands down, that's why I cover them. That's what. That's actually why I made my channel because I, I really like the MLS. I hope that it grows more than what it is. And yeah, I think that's one thing that does stand out. Like. People probably think that it's just a whole bunch of mediocre teams, but I think that they're all pretty good. Um, a lot of good teams and like it's very competitive in the sense that there's not a lot of yeah like you had your Philadelphia Union last year um, LAFC and Austin just pulled away in points but the middle of the field I mean it does come like I, I love decision day because you never know who's going to make the playoffs and who's not with decision day so yeah I, I like the MLS it, it's it's my favorite league to watch Go. Good ball by Lovitz. Nah, he's not going to get there. Sam, like DC United could finish bottom, but the next season they'll be at the top. Yeah, like you never know who's going to have a standout season. I don't think that they'll be at the top this year, but I do think that they'll be a little bit better than last year. Liao? Oh, Leal stole the ball, shot it, but it was too wide. Far left. Isaiah, MLS makes every team work for their trophies. Yeah, in a sense they do. Um, like I said, I don't like the I don't like the playoff format because I feel like teams will will take won't take the regular season um, as serious as before. But yeah. I, I, I do feel like teams have to work to win trophies. Uh, 
uh, Sam, how so how do the teams win the league and stuff? How does it work? So um, there is a um, – it's called the Supporter Shield, which is at the end of the regular season, the team that has the most points, kind of like the Premier League and stuff, the team that has the most points wins that trophy. But the big trophy is the MLS Cup, and that's the playoff trophy. So the – the 18 teams fight in the playoffs to win the MLS Cup. And that's the big trophy. Uh, Tivo, no way DC United is as bad as last year. Magno tries to pull one off from distance and sends it right over the bar. Uh, as bad as last year. They lost a game 7 to nothing to Philly last year. There's no way you can be worse. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, Ricardo, I agree with you about the playoff system. Yeah, it's it's not the best. It needs to be it needs to be less teams so it is more competitive in the regular season. Yeah, everyone does miss uh, Castellanos. Yeah, the loan is like the loan will be done, but he's not he's not going to come back. He's not going to come back to the MLS. He's he's doing too good over in Spain. Micro, I'm surprised that Messi considered going to Miami. I still think that we could see that happen at some point. So halftime, Nashville up one to nothing. So oh, let's see here. All right, so let's take a look at this. So Nashville's up one nothing. They gave it to Zimmerman, which it was not Zimmerman. It was Godoy. So, Foot Mob is lying to us on that one. Hopefully, they'll update that. I don't think it was Zimmerman. Did they give Zimmerman that? No way. I'm going to MLS to C2. They did. Even MLS gave it to Zimmerman. So, it was Zimmerman that scored. Not Godoy. Did he not touch it? I thought he smashed it in the back of the net. Wow. Okay, so let's see what uh, everyone's saying here. So, so no, Sam. Um, everyone is... So, the supporter shield goes to all of the MLS. So, both the... All 29 teams could win the supporter shield. So whoever has the most points at the end of the season, like the Premier League, win it. But then at the end of the regular season, the top nine teams on both in both conferences or divisions go into a playoff and they play against each other to see who gets the MLS Cup. Yep, halftime. Uh, Isaiah Magno got some of the best hair in the league. He's doing great. With the tight curl afro. Yeah, I, he, he's looking okay for NYCFC. His last shot that he took, he shouldn't have taken. Uh, Butch. Oh, yeah. Zimmerman got the goal. Yeah, I, I can't believe that. Um, Zimmerman did score in here. So, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're saying both MLS and uh, Foot Mob are saying Zimmerman. So... I'm, I might have to go watch that one back. So let's see what... So 50-50 possession. Nashville has five total shots, two big chances, and a big chance missed. So hopefully they show the replay here. So NYCFC only has one shot. The corners are 5-1. to one. So, I mean... In a sense, it's pretty it's pretty equal in my opinion. It sounds like we are getting the halftime show. Fox will not. We shall see. Yeah. yeah so right now they're they're going through highlights. Yeah, Magno's first shot though. Whew, I can't believe he didn't score that. Sam, all right, I understand. Uh, Michael felt Nashville had far more of the ball. Fun first up. Yeah, I really thought that they did too. So I'm also looking at um, 
MLSs. And they're also saying... So, yeah. I don't understand how... Let's not... They showed it, but they showed a weird angle of it. So, I didn't get to see... You didn't see if Godoy put it in. I thought Godoy smashed it in, or was it already across the line? Maybe it was already across the line for Walker. I mean, obviously it was, because they're giving it to Walker Zimmerman. So... Um, Sam buzzing for the DC game. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for all the games. So far, this has been a good game. Here they're showing the... They're talking... To, if you're watching the stream on Apple, they are talking about the playoffs now. Or like how it works. Yeah. Eight and nine seeds in each conference play wild card match to get in. And then the field of 16 after that. Um, and eight best of three series... And then the conference semifinals and conference finals are single elimination. And then the MLS Cup is just one game. Also single elimination. Um, Cote Magno looks like he is going to get subbed. Limping a bit. Yeah, he's both of his shots that he's taken, he's limped afterwards. Oh, uh, Micro. Uh... Brendan Deshi, he was taking English classes in the offseason. I didn't know that. Uh, Ernest, NYCFC, needs to improve in the second half. Yeah, I would say um, that NYCFC needs to have possession. They have 50% of the possession, according to every site that we've looked at. But they there's no offense. Uh, no one's getting in the box. I think all of their shots pretty much have come outside of the 18-yard box. So... I think that they're they're going to have to get chances in the six yard box, you know, or in the eighteen. They need to get looks, and no one's making any progress. Uh, do I think that James Sands could come back? Uh, he might because he isn't. He's not doing well at Rangers, and that is the Scottish Premier League. Um, I could see him coming back, but I, I don't know if he will or not. Fox broadcasters are remote. Apple TV broadcasters are on location. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, I, so far I like the Apple broadcast. I think that broadcast team has done very well. Um, we saw some highlights they've shown for the halftime, but it's been more commercials than anything. Isaiah, he looks like he he's someone that learns English and tries to do many things off the field. That's good. I like whenever I like when players do more than just play. I whenever they get involved in the community, that's that's fantastic. So yeah, fifty percent possession for both. Yeah, the last shot there was Magno shooting far right. So according to the foot mob right now, here's top players, Zimmerman with a 7.5, uh, Picoult with a 7.4, and Godoy with a, excuse me, a 7.4. You got Parks and Hawk with a 7.0, and then Pereira with a 6.8 for NYCFC. Uh, TiVo, I'm loving the broadcast, all games in HD is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think that the quality so far has been better than ESPN's. And it, and it should. I mean, with it being exclusive-ish to Apple TV, it, it better be, you know. It, it better be to, to me. Halftime, there's some perf they're showing a performance. Not really a halftime show, in my opinion. So maybe they can... Like, we can't even hear the guys singing. They're, you know, they're performing. Well, that's pretty cool. Live music at a game? Let's go. Um, this is why I really don't like Apple system ever since I'm an Android. Hey, I, I actually like Apple. I, I like their products. 
Isaiah. MLS players need to to up their TikTok presence. I don't know about that. Uh, the Americans would be the best for it. I don't know. I that doesn't bother me if they're not present on social media and stuff. I think if I was a professional player, I probably wouldn't be too involved in social media either. Micro, if Giovinco was awesome for Toronto, I love the year that they won the MLS Cup. I think it was what sixteen. Wonderful season, Javinko, um, Altador. That was a great team. Tivo, one complaint about Apple. They refuse to have an Android app for it? Really? Wow. That was a pretty cool halftime show, I'm not going to lie. You know, live music for the first game, that's it's pretty sweet. Uh, Martin, welcome to the stream. I think that's the first time you've commented. Um, who do I think the MVP is going to be? Um, I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. Um, I think Mukhtar, if he can not be injured and plays well, I think that he could repeat. Um, I think that we'll see uh, Darusi up there for Austin and one of the Philadelphia Union players. You know, one of the midfield players or, you know, I can see them being in the running for the MVP this year. All right, I put a poll out there. I want to see what you guys think. Will Nashville hold off NYCFC for the W? Brother, uh, yeah, I don't like people getting injured, um, even if it's players that I don't like, and I am not a fan of Chicharito. So, yeah, that does kind of suck that he got an injury there uh, for the Galaxy. But, yeah, I don't like anybody getting hurt. But yeah, I don't I don't like the Galaxy and I, I've never really cared for Chicharito. I think he's a good player. He's a very good player, don't get me wrong. But I'm just not a fan. Yeah, and I was actually kind of saddened to hear that uh he uh he got hurt because I was really looking forward to seeing him in the El Trafico, but I mean it got postponed. We don't know. Have they announced when that is going to be um played again? Like has it been rescheduled? All right, here, here's a, is this a look at the, I don't think it's going to work for me. So I'm rewatching the goal back, and to me it looked like Godoya got it, but I he kicked it in the air, so it could have been, Walkers, like it was in the air when he kicked it, so it might have already been across the line. Uh, Martin, July 4th, they rescheduled it for that far back. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that is the question. So they're talking about um, Mukhtar, seeing if we'll see him in the second half. I hope so. I hope we see him. He's awesome. I like Mukhtar. He is doing a lot of stuff. Uh, I think, was Isaiah talking about people doing stuff on and off the field? Uh, I've seen Mukhtar has done a good bit off the field lately. So I think that's pretty awesome.
All right, so, so far, oh, six of you have voted, and it's a 50-50 split for yes and no. So the the people that are voting no, do you think do you think that NYCFC is going to come back and win? Oh, I can't wait for the Atlanta game. So who's everyone's favorite team? I know that we've asked I've asked that before, but So all the other games start at 7.30 tonight. We got 7.30 games. I found this on the web. Oh, no. Um, so the games at 7.30 are Atlanta and Earth, uh, Atlanta United against San Jose. We got Charlotte, New England, D.C. United, Toronto, Cincinnati, Houston, Miami, Montreal, Orlando against the Red Bulls, and then Philadelphia against Columbus. And then at 8.30, we have Austin against St. Louis, Dallas versus Minnesota, and then at 10.30 tonight, we have Vancouver against Salt Lake. Tebow, I think NYCFC ties it up. Yes, Micro, yes. We we, we, we uh, definitely have figured that out, that it's Toronto. But what do you, I don't know if you've told us, what do you think of the New Jerseys? For Toronto, I I think that they should have left the red sleeves out. It would have been a nicer jersey without the red sleeves. Angus St. Louis, I do like the Johnny Cash reference to Nashville's kits, though, as shown on Apple TV. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty cool. It even says like on the on the back. Can't really. Can't really show it, but it has like his signature on the back of the neck of the jersey. Tivo, St. Louis and Austin sounds fun. Yeah, I'm excited to see what what uh, what St. Louis is going to bring to uh, to the MLS. So you, brother, you just, you could see that uh, NYCFC could bring come back, right? I mean. Barraza has played very well at uh, at goalkeeper for NYCFC. Just unlucky with that touch on um, Zimmerman's shot, and I guess it was strong enough to go in. But I still think someone should have marked Godoy. It was it was bad defense. But again, it, I'm sorry, but Bunbury has not done it for me. Do we know what Sapong's, uh, does anybody know what Sapong's injury is? Not sure. It doesn't really say. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, horrible. Should have been a third kit, but I don't like how they got rid, they got rid of the red. Yeah, I think that it would have been better for them to get, like if they were going to do it just to get rid of the red the red sleeves because i think the red sleeves are what to me makes it look the worst so no it doesn't give us any news on that uh-oh uh-oh NYCFC oh my NYCFC had the perfect chance to tie it up. Pellegrini had a chance. Yeah, he should have. That was a terrible miss, Tivo. Terrible. My man, he turned on the Jets there. He should have just he just he should have chipped a, he should have chipped the goalkeeper. I think if he would he could have chipped the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was way too far out. Should have chipped him. Tiago. Yeah, he just straight outran both of the center backs. Yes, Angus, very lucky there. I don't, Willis is, he's very, he's very inconsistent to me as a goalkeeper for Nashville. That's just my opinion. Um, I think he's doing okay. I mean, tonight he hasn't really, uh, 
he hasn't really had anything to do, so there's really no confidence either way. Um, I would say that he's not feeling very confident after that because NYCFC should have scored there. Yeah, it's got to be on target. Yeah, something. I don't know. That was that was terrible by NYCFC. I bet you Magno wish that was him. So we didn't we did not have any subs at halftime either. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay. It's pretty good by Walker. Good defense. Nashville needs to get it back. They're setting back now. Magno, he's going to take a shot. Oh, oh man. It's a bad pass by Magno. I'd like to see more out of Pellegrini for NYCFC. I don't feel like we saw too, heard too much about him in the first half. Yeah, I mean, he has a 5.8 rating on foot mob right now. I mean, he, we haven't heard anything from him. All right, Willis kicks it out. All right, Bunbury. There we go. Shaq Moore. Oh, go. Shaq Moore has it in the box. Corner kick for Nashville. I think this is their sixth. So it's kind of opened up a little bit in the second half, I feel like. I feel like uh, both teams have had pretty good looks. More looks for NYCFC than what they usually did. Uh, I don't know how to say his name, Micro, but I didn't. I didn't know that. Did him dirty, retired, and then came back and went to Syria B. That is kind of dirty. Uh. You think you're gonna? You think the NYCFC is gonna come back here? I mean, they're looking better in this half than what they did in the first half so far. I will say that. Oh. Yeah, NYCFC. They're they're starting. Oh, I think they got that wrong. That should have been NYCFC's ball. I thought. Uh, they're booing him every time, Isaiah, because um, in the first half, he, I think he fouled, he got fouled or someone else fouled him, and um, he was just being a big baby about it in the first half. Uh, a possible handball, I think that's what they're looking at, but he had, to, he was covering his face, I, I think that it, it's not... Yeah, he was shielding his face. I don't think that he's going to get anything. I don't think it's going to be a penalty. If it is, it's very unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, I think he his hands were up in his body when he got hit. So I think I think we're good. I think it was the right call. Yeah, it could go. The the announcer is saying that that call could go either way, but I think that they should have let it go. All right, NYCFC in the eighteen. Well, they were. Yeah, they they're looking they're looking pretty good right now. Better ball movement for NYCFC. Better control. Oh, that was a weak cross. Got blocked too. Is Shanot is Shanot uh team captain? I didn't know if he was the cap I didn't know he was the captain for NYC. Oh Magno. 
Whew. Oh, Liao freaking slid. Here they go. The confidence is growing for NYCFC. Oh, Zimmerman's stepping up pretty big on defense right now. Uh, Sapong would outran this guy. I don't know if I care. I, Bunbury could have had a better season, better start. Like, he's not as good. I don't know if he took his ankles. I think he fell. I don't think he made any good move to actually make him, like, you know, take his ankles there. So, okay, for the... For the poll, we've got 77% of you are saying Nashville will hold out for the W. I think they will too. I think I think Nashville will hold it out, but they better uh, they need to get on the attack again. I, I feel like again, I think Zimmerman's having the best game for Nashville right now. He's playing very good defense. Uh, he got the goal. But um, penalty? No, going the other way. What? Wow. What are you guys' thoughts? Should that have been a, a penalty or did the ref get it right? I don't know. Now that I see it again. Fafa got pushed by 24, whoever 24 is for New York. Isaiah, Nashville doesn't got any death. It's just Mukhtar and Walker. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. Um, Leal can play good at points and times. I think Godoy can play good at point in times. I, I, but yeah, for consistency... I, I can agree with that. And Schaffelberg, we heard a lot from him at the beginning of the game. He kind of quieted down in the second half of the first half, and we haven't heard anything from him. Was that Gray? Yeah, Gray is 24, yep. I think he pushed him. I think that there could have been an argument for a penalty there. Because Gray pushed pushed him into the other defender. All right, here we go. Settle down. I think Shaq Moore can be pretty good, too. That was a good move. Yep. Yeah. Free kick. Uh, Sam, what time will the game finish? Um, Probably around 7-ish, I believe. Well, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would say, I would say around that maybe. Uh, NYCFC looks the more dominant side. Yes, in the second half they do so far. Uh, Mike, I don't know if you watched the Canada versus Belgium game, but the ref got fired for that game. Oh, calling for a handball, but I don't know. Really pressuring Gray over there. Um, the ref got fired for the game. He was caught fixing games like six years ago. I don't know how they allowed that in such a big stage. Yeah, I, I think I heard about that, Micro. And like, yeah, if if you get as a ref, if you get caught fixing games or you know even betting on games, you, you should be done. I know that they're hurting for him, but yeah. Isaiah, your girlfriend just won her first college tennis match ever. That's pretty awesome. That's great. It's 23-10 here, mate. Yeah, so I would say in about 40-ish minutes it'll be done. Love its boots. I know, I keep missing them, TiVo. I keep missing them. I'm sorry. All right, Schaffelberg gets a yellow card here. Yeah, it was... It was a yellow, yeah.
Oh, the DC game, Sam, starts at 30 English time. Yep. Good step. I will say that Nashville is doing a pretty good job at shutting down Magno. Oh. All right, let's see here, okay. <laughs> All right, so NYCFC is holding possession right now. Do they have more possession than... They have a lot of the possession in the second half. Yeah, it's 54% to 46 right now. Sam, absolutely great. You get to fly out and watch her in April? That's awesome, Isaiah. Uh, Sam, late night, got plenty of beer to drink. That's good, that's good. Yeah, that definitely will be a long night. Uh, it would be uh, good for Toronto to get another DP striker to be up with Insigne. Yeah, I think so too. I think if they could bring in another one, that would be great. But I don't. Do they have a DP uh, spot open? Sam, it'll keep me awake. Man, Nashville's just letting letting them handle the ball and keep it. What do I think about the Jake Paul fight? I, I'm not sure. I don't really pay attention to fighting and stuff. I used to like the UFC. Oh. Woo. Zimmerman just set up Pellegrini very nicely. And he got it. Hit it off to the right. Set him up there. That's a beautiful shot. Wow. Yeah, he, he did. He had the shot. Walker should have just cleared that with his foot. Why did he try to head that? Yeah, right now, it is all NYCFC. It is all NYCFC right now. So here we go. Magno in the middle of the field again. He keeps dropping back. Uh-oh, what's happening there? Wow. He just gave Magno a yellow. I, I'm not... I don't understand what the call was here. He gave Magno the yellow card. No, no, Martin's a yellow card. No, that's Magno. They got the name wrong. Come on now. So Magno gets the yellow, but they're giving the ball to NYCFC. Shouldn't that go to Nashville? Tivo, as of right now, yeah, I agree with you. I think NYCFC deserves a an equalizer. They are playing well, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I know that Magno hit him in the in the face, but. I don't think he did it on purpose. Zimmerman, another. There we go, Shuffleberg. Get there. Oh. That was a good challenge. Uh-oh. NYCFC. No. Slowed it down. Magno should have carried more. He could have carried into the middle of the field. Look at Magno. Cutting a little bit. Oh. They had a chance there. I feel like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe a foul, but like you said, I don't think a yellow card was deserved for that. But I think maybe because it was a hands to the face incident is why they gave him a yellow. Good job, Walker. Good step. Yeah, I haven't heard much from Lovitz other than his corner kicks. He hasn't, he hasn't really been tried over there on that left side. No. 
Chanel took the shot. That was an awful shot to take, in my opinion. Yeah, that was a that's really good possession by New York. I mean, they're doing they they're definitely the the better team this half, for sure. I still think that they could get the equalizer because I think Willis is shaky. If they can get one, if they can get a couple of them on frame, that's the thing. They they haven't really gotten anything on frame, in my opinion. Maybe maybe that's why you got a yellow was arguing. I I'm not sure. I I think it was a a bad. I don't think that he should have got a yellow. But if it was for arguing, I can understand. So that's the thing. Right now, uh, NYCFC has seven shots to Nashville's six, but Nashville has three on goal, where NYCFC only has one on goal. Yeah, I think if. If NYCFC can get a couple of shots on goal, one of them's going to go in for sure. So, what other game is everyone looking forward to tonight? I know some people are excited for the DC game. Toronto game? Do they play tonight? Yeah, Toronto. Well, Toronto DC game. I know some people have said that. Any, any other games we looking forward to? I know someone said Austin and St. Louis. I'm of course excited for the Atlanta game. I'll be watching it after this one. Not streaming it though. Apparently, you can see people's wrinkles on Apple TV. That's why everyone needs to wear sunscreen every day. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, advice there, Isaiah. And the quality, is, I will say the quality of the the game so far has been very good through Apple TV. Uh, Hack is quite not bad. I'm happy that he's coming back. Yeah, he, he's played okay. Isaiah, you're looking forward to Miami's game and Austin's. Who does Miami play? They play Montreal. That They'll definitely win that game. I'm kind of excited for the Miami game. I really hope that um, Martinez scores on his debut. I would love to see that, to be honest. NYCFC is looking better than Nashville. I want to know why Nashville is kind of let off and they're just sitting back. Like, I know that you're up one nothing, but, man, get that second goal. Get that second goal. Finish them. Montreal. Brother, is that your favorite team? Is Montreal your favorite team? I, I might have asked you that already, who your favorite team is. I apologize if I have. So not very many, like, big opportunities in the last couple minutes. Kind of been an okay game. More A lot of midfield stuff. All right. Someone go wide. Someone go wide. Get there. Uh-oh, Bunbury. Yeah. Martins uh, knocks out the, the cross. So I don't think this is... What, what are your guys' thoughts? You don't think this is... Has this been a pretty good uh, opening game for the MLS season? I think it's been a pretty good one. It's not been terrible. I'd like to see more goals, but that's just me. All right, there's activity on Nashville's bench. Who are we going to see come in? Oh, if Zimmerman would have gotten. Yeah, ref, yep, drop ball for Nashville.
Yeah, TiVo, I agree with that. It's been pretty entertaining. Not too bad. Oh, wow. It's a drop ball for... They're giving it to NYCFC. Oh, he's kicking it. I don't understand this. The ref told him. All right, so O'Toole comes in for um, for NYCFC. That's our first substitute of the game. Uh, lots of attacking, no bunkering. Always good to see. Yeah, I don't want to see teams set back. That's not that's not what I want to see. I want to see both teams continuing to play. So we got one. Like I said, we got one uh, substitute. I, I would I would think that we were going to start to see some more ML. Uh, not MLS. More. Subs coming soon for especially for Nashville. I, I want to see Mukhtar. I wonder if uh oh oh who was that Shaq Moore with a block? Uh, my team is NYCFC. Okay, so you you all like the New York your New York sports fans? Okay. Hey, that would hey. Brother, that, that, that would be cool, uh, being a sports entertainment uh, guy, yeah. Keaton taking their ankles. Yes, that was a nice run uh, by NYCFC. All right, so we got some more subs. Let's see. All right, Mules coming in for Nashville. I'd like to see him do something. I, I like him. He's he's pretty good, in my opinion. Not bad. Like he's not great, but I like him. I, I think that he can I think he has a lot to offer. At this point in time, with there's only being twenty minutes left, I, we might not see Mukhtar. Uh with with Nashville being up one nothing, I think Mukhtar won't play probably. What are your guys' thoughts? You think he's gonna come in? Isaiah, this is the NYCFC I know. No striker, but can be dangerous by movement. Yeah, I mean, this second half they've done they've done a lot better in the second half. But yeah, I don't think I don't think that we're going to see Mukhtar. I wanted to see Mukhtar. Right, here we go. Leal. Give it to Mule. Oh! Leal misses it just wide. I think that he should have passed it over to Mule. Just missed it, man. Just missed that top right. Hey, that was a good shot. That was a good shot for Nashville. All right. Yeah, you're 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 right, Isaiah. Isaiah. Do what you know and what you're good at. Oh, we are going to see the MVP. People are starting to cheer. They're talking about him. So Mukhtar is coming in. Wow. I like this. Does he score? Does he get on the score sheet with 15 minutes left? The crowd is already chanting MVP. I'd like to see him get on the score sheet right away. His celebration is one of my favorites when he scores. The stop and the salute. I love it. That's great. 
Who's everybody's favorite player? Tell me who your favorite player is in the MLS. Mine is still Joseph Martinez, but Mutar is right there behind him, I would say. Ooh, that's a yellow. Yeah, for sure. That could be a red. I mean, that was pretty blatant. All right, Godoy. You're pushing it now, my man. <laughs> Michael, Graham Zussi is, are you, are you being serious? Like, is that really your, I mean, he's good. But that's a surprise pick for a favorite player. Is he really Graham Zussi? I've always liked him. It just, I was just caught off guard by that. All right, here we go. Mukhtar is coming in. For Liao? Yep. Here we go. No one else is going to answer my favorite player question here. TiVo, don't know if I have a favorite player, but I am impressed a lot by Torres. I, I think he will. I, I agree with you, uh, Tiva. I think he will do good things for Orlando. And the crowd is loving him. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked by the Zussi comment, too. I mean, hey, that's awesome, though. I mean, because your favorite player doesn't have to be... I mean, Zussi did a lot for the league, and he was... Because he's got a record, I think. Didn't he just get a record for maybe the most starts in the MLS or something like that? And I thought he, he's a solid player. I'm just surprised by that. All right, final 15 minutes. Let's see what uh, let's see if we have some exciting uh, exciting things happen. Uh, when I watched my first game, I saw him and thought, if I played professionally, I'd look like that guy. Been a fan ever since. Hey, hey, that's perfect, man. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. See, I was I was always like that for whenever I was really into other sports. Like uh, back in the day for NBA, Rajon Rondo was my absolute favorite. Whenever uh, the Celtics got the big three with Garnett, Pierce, and Ray Allen, I I, I loved those guys. But Rajon Rondo was my favorite on the team. Three hundred forty-one appearances by Zuzi. Yep, that's that's a lot. Uh, here, NYSCFC on the move here. They're still dominating possession. I mean, it's 58-42 in possession now. Uh, here's a cross. Oh. Godoy. Oh. Shot. Woo! I think if they can get... If they can get into the 18-yard box and take a shot, they score. I think so. I think it was you, uh, brother, that was saying about Willis's confidence. I think if they get in the 18-yard box and take a shot, they score because of that. I still love Willis's uh, uh, mustache, though. I will throw that out there. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's let's see some good action here. Let's. I want to see some good shots. That was a, that was a good shot by NYCFC. Just, I, I need to look at their shot chart and see have they even taken a shot in the eighteen yard box. 
I feel like they have not. Let's look at their shot. So they, they've had two shots. Yeah, Pellegrini in the 48th minute, and then um, there was a shot in the 30th minute. And that shot was their on-target one. Well, now they've had two on target. That last shot. Let's go, Mukhtar. Mukhtar, he's breaking. Shuffleberg. Mukhtar. Shuffleberg. Shuffleberg! Let's go! <laughs> Nashville, let's go. Mukhtar comes in, pulls everybody away, and Shuffleberg with the goal. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a difference maker Mukhtar is. He's been on for less than five minutes. Five minutes. Less than five minutes. Comes on. Gets the assist. Beautiful setup. Draws the defender over. Schoffelberg nice and easy. Just had to beat the goalie. Sam, my prediction is wrong. My prediction is still pretty good. If, if NYCFC does score, my prediction was 2-1. to one. But look at this. Mukhtar brings boat brings over the other center back, lays it right off. And great job by Shuffleberg by staying on side. Great teamwork. Great ball handling, too, by uh Mukhtar. Mukhtar carries the teams for yeah, he does carry the team, but that's fantastic. Let's go. Sorry for clapping in your all's ears through your TV there. Phone, whatever it is. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Way to start the season. Yeah, Sam Mukhtar did all the work. He did. He set them up perfect. All, all, all Shuttleberg. Wait, am I saying that right? Yeah, Shuffleberg. <laughs> I said Shuttleberg. Shuffleberg. All he had to do was just be the goalkeeper, and he did. It's fantastic. Yeah, if we ever watch an Atlanta game on a live stream, I'll be going crazy if we score. Yeah, Mukhtar is. He, he's that good of a player that he, he changes the game immediately as soon as he comes on. But that's the type of player he is. Like, they did not do a very good job, job defending him there. I mean, cut in front of the one guy, drew the other defenders in. And that was, that was nice of him to be a team player because, really, he could have tried to take that and score himself, but instead he lays it off. That, that's, a, that's a fantastic teammate. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. So here we got some more uh, substitutions there. Hackinson coming on for Schoffelberg. Yeah, that, that's a great. Yep, getting a goal, a game winner, pretty much. And then Gray is going out for NYCFC. Fantastic. That's what I want to see at the end of the game, Mara. Way to end the stream with another goal. Uh oh, Mukhtar? Mukhtar? Oh. Mukhtar just had a shot. Oh, okay. That should be going the other way. Yeah. Pellegrini straight, like, shoved him in the back. Yeah. Angus, yeah. I think, I think Godoy is actually hurt, hurt. If you, I don't know who, is that Hackinson? Was that? Whew. Yeah, the faces Godoy was making and the other player was making, Davis. Was it his wrist or his shoulder? His shoulder? But yeah, like, 
Oh, his wrist. Oh, shoulder. No. Oh, my goodness. Look at that face. If you are watching. Yeah, I, Isaiah, I think Pellegrini over... Yeah, he kind of... He definitely get like he pulled him down. That was pretty dirty. Hopefully, Godoy is all right. It might just be a uh, popped out, dislocated shoulder. Maybe at first I thought it was his wrist. If you look at his wrist, but yeah, definitely think it's his shoulder. Think a dislocated shoulder. But yeah, if you look at the way he grabbed his wrist, and his wrist was kind of limp, limp at first, but dislocated shoulder. Or a broken collarbone. That that wouldn't be good if he broke his collarbone. Connor should be a straight red. I don't know if it should be a straight red. He definitely should have got a card for it, in my opinion. Because but at the same time, with it being with it being quick a uh, quick reaction stuff, I don't think the ref saw it all the way. Wow. Is he fine? Yeah, he was grabbing his shoulder. Like I said, at first, when he grabbed his wrist, like the way he was holding his wrist, like he grabbed his arms. But he's moving his shoulder. I thought I thought for sure it was like dislocated or something. It looks like he's okay. They're still talking to him. I hate whenever guys do that. So Zubek just like said, what did I do? Dude, you just straight shouldered that guy in the back. That's a foul. I bet you that's gonna not going to feel too good tomorrow for Godoy. He's definitely not moving it that much if you look at him. So I think this was a, a very good... Uh, start to the MLS season. I, I think this was a good game. I, my overview for the Apple TV, the the broadcast is really good. It looks very well. Again, I still think that the... Um, I think that they should change the scoreboard. It's too plain to me. Um, I was very disappointed in the pregame. I hate that. I hate the fact that they said that the game was going to be at 4:30. It did not start until five, pretty much. I, I don't like that. It's a half hour after it said that it was going to. Very disappointed in that. That was a straight Fox move. And Apple, please do not be like Fox. That's all I gotta say. So here we go. NYCFC in the box. Too big of a touch. He went down too easy. There, there's no there's no penalty there no way so that's everyone else's thoughts do we, do we think that it was a good first game first match yeah I don't think I don't think gray had a very good game to be honest so Connor, yeah, it was on national TV, but even on like ESPN and stuff, ESPN would have started it. If it was on just ESPN or ESPN2, it would have started at 4.30. The only time that I've ever seen games like this happen where it's a 30-minute like, delay after the time that it says it's going to start is Fox. This Fox is the only broadcast that I've ever seen do that, in my opinion. And I think it's BS. Like... It, if you're going to say that the game starts at 4.30, it needs to start at 4.30. Or tell us that like the pregame show starts at 4.30 and the match starts at 5. That kind of thing. So who does everyone think uh, the... Uh, here, I'm going, to, I'm going to make a poll here. Um, who's the man of the match? 
Who do you think? Zimmerman, Mukhtar, Shuttle. We'll put uh, Schoffelberg on there. Or do you think it's someone else? Let's see what you guys think. I still think it should have been, I, I think it should be Zimmerman. Uh, I think Zimmerman has had a good game. Between him and uh, Shuffleberg, Shuffleberg played a very good game in my opinion. I think he played very well. So, yeah, he played uh, well. He uh, according to Foot Mob, uh, Shuffleberg has a seven point nine. Zimmerman has a seven point nine. Godoy has a seven point seven. I think Godoy had played a, a pretty good game too. So far, everyone is saying Shuffleberg should get it. I agree with that. I, I think I could agree with that. Vaso, hey, how are you doing? Good, good. Thanks for stopping in. Um, I do think Toronto will win uh, tonight. So we got seven extra minutes. Wow. I think that's a good bit. I think that it should have only been about four. I know that Godoy went down and Gray went down. I would have went with four minutes, but we got seven minutes. Angus, I remember when any sports game started at six minutes after the hour, right after the national. Yeah, that I feel like that's what it usually is. I think any other you know, TV show, like TV broadcast, you know, they do, I feel like. I think that Fox is the only one that does that. All right, so wow. Uh, all right, the people that said other, who who do you think, um, who do you think should have been the man of the match? If you think it's other. Do you think it was Godoy? Is that, is that who's saying that? Uh, Vaso, besides Toronto, what is your best other pick? Uh, what What do you mean by that? Like who who I think is going to win this evening? In the other games, because I, I think Atlanta will beat San Jose. I think Charlotte will beat the well. I think Charlotte and the Revs might tie. Toronto will beat DC. Cincinnati will beat Houston. Uh, Inter Miami will beat Mon Montreal. That should be a yellow Shaq Moore. Come on. Shaq Moore should have got something for that that shove. Um, I could see Orlando beating the Red Bull. Uh, Union, The Union-Columbus game is going to be a good game, but I think Union will come out on top because they're at home. They're hard to beat at uh, Subaru Park. Austin will beat St. Louis. Dallas and Minnesota is going to be a good one, but I think Dallas will come out because they're at Toyota Stadium. And then uh, Vancouver and Salt Lake will probably end in a draw. That, that That's what I'm saying. But yeah, who, who, those others. Do uh, you think it's Godoy that should have been the uh, the man of the match? Is that your is that who, why you're selecting other? Or who else? Who else could be the man of the match? I think I would have to go with uh, Zimmerman or, or Shuffleberg, for sure. Chano, come on. These players and just shoving and stuff, like, that's sore loser right there, man. No, the game has not went their way. Yeah, that was uncalled for. I think that could... It's definitely yellow. He might get fined for that later. Because there was no need for him to uh, come in like that. There's two other defenders on him. There's two other defenders on him. He, That was very uh, reckless, in my opinion. No need for that. No need for that.
Josh T. Go Revs. Josh, are you from that area? Do you like Revs? Is that your team? I don't think that you said your team, did you, Josh? I can't remember. I, I apologize. <laughs> Tivo, seven minutes World Cup tribute? Yeah, for sure. I, I don't know why it was seven minutes. I think that it I think it should have been four, in my opinion. Nick Allen. Hey, what's up, Nick? Uh, thanks for stopping in. Three, nothing. I don't know if they'll score in the next three minutes. I think it's one of those things they will, uh, if they get the ball, they're just going to go to the corner. Nick lost my bet again. Oh, no. That's, see, that's why I can't get into, uh, that's why I cannot get into betting and stuff because I would get, I would get so mad at losing bets, and I would lose so many. I know I would. So right now for the, the poll, we, we have Shuffleberg at 50% for man of the match. Uh-oh. Ooh. Whew. NYCFC almost got one back there. They're pushing for one. Yeah, I think that... So Mule didn't do anything when he came on. I don't feel like he's done very done that much since coming on. Hmm, the tools. Yeah, he's only got a 6.0 rating right now on football. He, he did not do too much this game. That should be the whistle, right? Should be getting the whistle soon. I'll just blow the whistle. All right, so... Yeah, see, I, I would not bet, to me, I would not bet on NYCFC uh, a lot this year, to be honest. I don't think that they're going to be that great. Um, maybe Rodriguez will do something for them when, when he comes in. But, but that's the end of the game. I thought it was very well. I thought it was a very good game for the first game to kick off the season. Uh, Nashville wins 2-0 at home, gets the shutout. We did pick both the chat on the live stream for the week one picks. Pick Nashville to win. I picked them to win two to one. So I got their score right, but not uh, in my CFC. So I'm okay with that. It's pretty good. You all voted that Shuffleberg was the man of the match. I agree with that. I think that he had a phenomenal game. And... Um, Toronto should have not given him up. I think that he made a very good impact for Nashville. So thank you all for watching. This has been great. I can't wait to do next week's game. I don't know what game we're going to do. Like I said earlier in the video, um, in the stream, earlier in the stream, I'm going to put a poll out on the community tab. Make sure that you go and vote um, for next week's game. I will probably put it out either Monday or Tuesday. We'll see what you all vote for, and that is the game that we will do the live stream for. But I thought it was a good game. I like the broadcast of Apple. I like the announcers. It was great. Um, just did not like the pregame show where it was 30 minutes after um, that the game started from what they were saying. Hopefully these 730 games aren't like that. But 
it was a good game. Thank you all again. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I can't thank you enough for tuning in. I love, I love sitting here talking to you guys during the whole game. It's phenomenal. And uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, tune in for the my predictions. The predictions will not be live this week. I will probably just do a video. I don't know if we had enough people tune in for the, the live stream, but uh, check out that. That should be released on either Wednesday morning or Thursday morning. Check that out. But until the next stream, we'll see you next time.